A very emotional day in the Madison County Courthouse viewing location as details were given in the Ada County Courthouse about the autopsies of Tylee Ryan and J.J. Vallow. Local News 8's Kaylee Galavis was there and tells us what was revealed. And we want to warn you that some of the details that you're about to hear are graphic. Forensic pathologist Garth Warren revealing J.J. Vallow died from asphyxiation by plastic bag over the head and duct tape around the mouth. Tylee Ryan's death was ruled a homicide by unspecified means, so it is unknown what actually killed her. Judge Stephen Boyce only allowed autopsy photos to be viewed by the court and jurors. Public view was blocked. Dr. Warren goes on to describe the photos, saying J.J.'s body was bound. Also noted were bruises on both arms and scratches on J.J.'s neck. Based on evidence, Dr. Warren believed these happened in a struggle before J.J.'s death. Dr. Warren describes Tylee's autopsy as, quote, different and saying, quote, most times I get an entire body. The remains, he says, were charred and dirty, indicating Tylee was burned. Evidence led Dr. Warren to believe she was burned after her death. Earlier, photos were shown of J.J.'s excavation from his burial site on Chad Daybell's property. Long grass and vegetation surrounded a smaller patch of shorter grass. This led investigators to believe J.J. was buried there. As they started digging, they noticed, quote, precisely placed stones and planks. FBI site supervisor Steve Daniels said his team thought, quote, someone had taken the most effort in this burial. They discovered J.J.'s body only a few feet underground. Reporting in Madison County, I'm Kaylee Galavis. You can stay updated on this story on our website, localnews8.com.